All right, so we want to prove this equality, which is whatever, and then interpret this geometrically, which is less whatever, because that's actually sort of cool, because I'm visual and I like to see things geometrically. Um, so it's not really clear where X and Y are supposed to lie. Um, let's just suppose that these are X and Y are in R N. Oh, no, actually, never mind. It says right here and here. Maybe I should read the directions more. Anyways, so basically we just start this out with the computation. So x plus y squared plus x minus y squared. Okay, so what is this? This is the, um, the norm is the sum from 1 to k of xi plus yi squared. There would be a square root over this entire sum, but we have a squared there, so we don't need it. And then we add the sum from one to k of xi minus yi squared. That's just the definition. Okay, so now what? So now we can multiply these out and we get sum from one to k of xi squared plus, um, if we multiply the, if we FOIL it, we'll get two xi yi, because we'll get y we'll get xi yi plus yi xi plus yi squared. Then we will add the sum from one to k. And this time it's the same thing, but we subtract the two xi yi plus yi, and then we have a plus yi squared. Okay, so we're summing this from one to k, and so all of these are going to cancel with all of these. And so all will be, and so, yeah, so not only will those cancel, but we can move the xi's together. Each xi appears twice. So we can just write this as two sum from one to k of xi squared plus two sum from one to k of yi squared. Okay, and then, well, this is just two x squared plus two y squared. And that's it. So that's the inequality or no, the equality. Well, I mean, it is an inequality because if this holds, then it also holds if you put an inequality there. But okay, that's not important. Anyways, so what about this whole parallelogram thing? So let's draw a parallelogram and hope that I don't mess this up. Okay, so let's say that we have two vectors here uh, this is the origin, and this is the vector x, and this is the vector y. Okay, then what other things do we know? Um, so if we draw this dotted line here, well, what is this? This is the same thing as starting at x, going to x, or starting at the origin, going to x and then going to y. And therefore this line is x plus y. Now if we were to start here at this point and we go forward by one at, or no, let's start, okay, let's start here. Then if we go from here to here, we're going up by x. And then if we go backwards, we're going down by y. So this dotted line here between these two is x minus y because this is x and this is y. And no, this is y, so this is minus y. And so that's how you get x minus y. That's how vectors work. Okay, so what is this saying? This is saying that um, this distance going, um, this distance going across here. Let me, do I have my uh, mouse? Okay, I don't know if my mouse is going to show up at all. Um, let's label these points A, B, C, D. Um, so basically what we're saying here is that the distance between a and d squared plus the distance between b and c squared is the same as 
the distance between A and C squared times 2 plus the distance between A and B squared times 2. But the distance between A and B is the same as the distance between Y and D, or A and B is the same as between C and D, and between A and C is the same as the distance between B and D, just by symmetry. Um, because these two have the same length and these two have the same length. So basically what we're saying is that this thing on the right here, this is the perimeter of the parallelogram. And this thing is the, um, well, no, it's not the perimeter. It's, you take the, you take the edge lengths and you square them and add them all together. That's what this thing is. And then this thing is you take the diagonals and for each of the diagonal lines, both A and D and C and B, you square them and then add them together. So it's just a thing about distances between um, uh, parallel, uh, parallelograms. Basically, the, dis the distance between points D and A squared plus the distance between the points C and B squared is equal to 2 times the distance between A and C squared plus, why am I using parentheses? These should be absolute values if I'm talking about distance. Um, C and B, D and A, okay, um, to A and C plus squared plus two times the distance between A and B squared. And that's all it's saying is that there's some neat thing about the lines that go inside a parallelogram um, dealing with its corners and the lengths of the edges. Um, so yeah, and notice there, that's, that's why I kind of like drawing pictures, is because if you look at these statements and see where these things appear in the picture, then you immediately understand what this equality is saying, whereas when I try to explain it, I have to use a whole bunch of words, and it's hard to follow, and it's all messy. In general, pictures just are really nice. Not only because you can visualize them in your head, but because they're really good at portraying a substantial amount of information very quickly. And I really like that. And that I think that is one of like the one of the purposes of mathematics as a whole, particularly pure mathematics, is to see how much information humans are capable of portraying in as few symbols as possible. Um, but yeah, all right, but that's just random stuff. We've proven the exercise basically here is the main proof. And the geometric interpretation is just like an interesting thing to observe. And this is, is this typically called the parallelogram law, I believe? Um, Maybe not, I don't know. But here you go, this is, this is the proof.